Yeah. All right, continuing to focus in on our fearless Nitro Harley pilots. How about three minutes with the one and only Mr. Kevin Boyer? How you doing, Kevin? Real good. Some quick hitters for you. How old are you? 56. Where are you from? Edmonton, Alberta. How many years racing? This is 40. 40 years. Yeah. Best racing memory if you could name one. Oh, there's too many. Too there's many. too many. I love this sport. There's, they're all good memories. Well, it's got to be love and passion that keeps you going. Talk to me about the program this year and if you guys did anything different to the bike. Well, we are uh, we worked on this bike all last year. We took it, we pulled it off the circuit to get an ignition working. We got that ignition working now, so we're back on the circuit. And uh, the bike's showing a lot of promise. We ran really well yesterday. We've got some room to do some more improvements. So look, really looking forward to the season. Is there any way for you to describe to people what it's what it's like to ride one of these? Um, no, I think, but I think everybody should do it. I think everybody should throw a leg over one of these. <laughs> At least do a burnout and a lunch, because there's nothing like it. I'm sure. There really is. What do you think about the field this year? Very, very tough. We're seeing a lot of 20s and 30s already. I think, uh, yeah, I think that the, there's another tenth going to fall here over the last couple of years. A high 30 or 40 would win some events. I think we're uh, now into the realm where it's 20s and 30s that are going to win these events. So. Coming from Canada, what's the plan for you this year in terms of how many races do you plan on hitting? Uh, we're scheduled to do eight of the 10. We're probably not going to Gainesville. We're probably not going to Epping, and that's just simply logistics. Yeah, Gainesville would be what? I can't even imagine how many hours for you. Well, it's, we're we're 30 hours here, and it's uh, we leave out of Tucson. It'd be another 35 or 40 hours from there. So oh my yeah. gosh. Kevin, tell me a little bit about this uh, array of electronics that we're looking at here. A lot of well, sophistication on these bikes. Yeah, one one is the race pack in the middle there. The uh, the other two are EM boxes, and they control the clutch and the, and the fuel management. Very similar to the cars, just a little downsized. In your opinion, what is the toughest uh, electronic here to, to tune and control? What do, you, what do you struggle with? I think the, the, the clutch is the most important, so I guess we'd probably say we put the most uh, emphasis on the clutch. So. Very cool. What's the maintenance like in between races for you? I, sometimes it's as easy as an oil change. Other times we're thrashing. Like these, they make lots of horsepower, so they break parts. Yeah, they sure do break parts. And I've been told the most expensive thing you can break is the crank. Yeah. Is that true? Or, you, yeah, or, or is your there... spirit, I guess. You yeah, or, you, or you, right? <laughs> So finally, what's the goal for 2019? Goal for 2019 is to run those eight events, be run strong, be in the top, with the top contenders, and qualify at all the events and see where that takes us. If we make a run for it, we make a run for it. But yeah, we want to be, we want to move up the ladder a little bit. We're normally a number six, seven, or eight bike. We want to get up into the top four. So. Well, good luck to you. Anything at all you'd like to add? Anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, Ace Racing that's uh, helped us for a good chunk of those 40 years so uh, you know they're still behind us and all the fans who watch and call us and watch us on social media you know thanks to all of them you see where this goes that's one of the videos i posted yesterday the fans were going nuts when you guys were getting ready to go up for final qualifying and my question is how long before this becomes an official pro category do you think it's going that way i i think so i think so i don't know how fast that's going to happen uh, I hope it happens while I'm still racing, but it's uh, it, it's definitely going that direction for sure. Fans NHRA. love these bikes. They do. They, they do. do. NHRA seems to enjoy having us, and the fans like us. So yeah, as long as we keep showing up, I think it's going places. Very cool. And you do have a Facebook page that people can follow you on, right? We do. The name of that page? Warrior Racing. Awesome. Can't wait to see it, man. Well, good luck to you, and thanks a lot for showing us this this awesome motorcycle. And we wish you the best of luck here in 2019. All right. Thanks for what you do. Thank you.